check this out. No, I did not break this lens. This is a tilt lens and it's meant to do that. And no, it's not for photographing around corners though. That would be pretty cool. It's for a very special effect that would normally cost you upwards of $1,000 to get in a physical lens like this, but not anymore. Ever since I was a teenager experimenting with the weird facets of photography, I've always wanted a tilt lens, but I mean, look at this guy. Does he look like he's made of money? Out of desperation, I even made my own tilt lens of sorts using an old vintage lens and a bicycle tube, which is a fun hack, but not really the same thing. But be desperate no more, creative teenagers and uh, geeky adults too, I guess, because you can buy this lens, a dedicated tilt lens, for 200 bucks, which is a huge deal. This is the TT Artisan 50mm f1.4 tilt lens, and it was sent to me free for this review, and it's awesome. More about this specific lens in a moment, but first I wanna show you what a tilt lens even does using some high-grade professional visuals. A typical lens maintains a fairly even focal plane in front of the lens. It's actually a little bit more complicated than that, but for simplicity's sake, let's leave it at that. As you focus the lens close or far, the plane moves, and the appearance of what's in focus also changes. Changing the aperture can also make the area of what appears in focus larger or smaller, but once again, the plane stays perpendicular to the lens. What a tilt lens does is allow you to change the focal plane relative to the camera sensor, so that what's in focus doesn't just have to be perpendicular to the lens, but can also be in these diagonal slices. And that's just left or right, but because this tilt lens can also rotate 360 degrees, then it gives you a seemingly limitless way that you can slice focus through an image to achieve some really cool effects. Creatively, this lets you do some really cool stuff where you take objects that are far away and make them look like there's shallow depth of field even though they're far away, which has this large format effect. It's very cool and expensive looking if you can get it right. And then the other cool effect you can do with this making faraway subjects look like they have shallower depth of field is called the miniature effect. And this is where you take a faraway subject like a building or something like that, something large, and you selectively focus it in a way that makes it look like a model. It actually kind of tricks your brain because we're not used to seeing large subjects like that with shallow depth of field. We're only used to seeing close-up subjects. So then you take a picture of it and it just tricks people's brains into thinking that has to be a fake model. And then because all of this shallow depth of field effect is happening through the lens to the camera, no sort of software or anything, all of this works in video as well, which is also very cool. And back to the specific lens, TT Artisan is really the first one to make a tilt lens like this readily accessible and for a good price for the general audience. There were a couple other tilt lens like this and tilt adapters, but nothing quite as professional grade as this or versatile as this. What's cool about this lens is you can straighten everything back up once you're done with the tilt effect and now you have a normal fast 50 lens. By the way, I'm using this on a Fujifilm camera, but it's available for a whole slew of cameras, including full frame cameras. So check out the link in the description to see if your camera is supported. Now more on the lens itself. It's super heavy. So on the small mirrorless camera, it's a little front heavy, but that also means it does seem very well built. It's all metal and uh, some nice grippy rings on the front. So good construction. I was also a little bit worried about these moving parts. For one, I was worried that a lot of dust and dirt would enter into the inner elements as I'm rotating and tilting it constantly. I will have to say after a month of using it, I haven't had a problem. Feel free to message me in the comments if you see this video later and ask me how it's going and I'll let you know. I have been flinging the tilt and the rotation around quite a lot since I've been using it and they have not worn down or, or gotten any more loose with their tolerances. So. I do think it's a very well-built lens. The aperture is stepless, which means it just rotates freely without having clicks in between the aperture numbers. Normally for photography, this would bug me. I actually like having the hard stops on the aperture ring, but because you use aperture on this lens a lot for controlling the depth of field when you're using the tilt effect, then I kind of like that it's smooth and you can just use it less as a, how much light am I gathering, um, but more of a, almost another way to focus. Speaking of aperture, as is typical with most lenses, wide open at f1.4, the lens is not very sharp, but it's even less so than most modern fast 50s, even cheap ones in this kind of category that you might buy. And also wide open, I was noting chromatic aberrations when I was shooting against the light, which is just these weird color effects that come across on edges when you're shooting in harsh lighting conditions. So not the sharpest lens in my toolbox, but 
the only one that tilts and it's usably sharp. So to me, not a very big deal, but something to note. Another great cheap lens with really cool effects is a full circular fisheye lens. And I made a video about one that only costs 150 bucks. I'll see you over in that video. And until next time, happy snapping.